What's going on? Got Sebastian Y. Joe here, the What's boss up, man. I know. What, 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 what are we doing here? That's Talk me. to me, we're, man. We're going undefeated, man. Okay. With, 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 with what? Let me see that, man. Little chickens. Yo. Ooh, little chicken, little fire chicken, dude. Ooh. This deck is a lot of fun. Okay. I want to say I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck. If you guys have already seen, I have a few different profiles on the on the video as well. So if you guys are going to check that out, make sure you guys do. I'll leave the link to them in the description for you guys, so you guys can see. Get little templates for you. Uh -huh. uh, but today we played pure fire kings. What? What? Pure Fire Kings, yeah. Pure Fire Kings, no Diabell Star needed, um, no Tri Brigade, no Dogmatica, no additional nonsense. Straight, pure, fresh out the pack. Man. Um, we went undefeated today. Give me that right now, I need it. Alright, uh, man. <laughs> uh, so we played three Lil Chicken, of course. We played three Kirin. Okay. And two Garunix. Ooh. I was thinking about playing this at three, but I just feel like it was a bit too much for it, honestly. So, okay. Uh, but overall, pretty standard, okay. I would say. Okay. okay. Uh, we played three Arvata. Okay. Two Barong. Oh, are Lord. Playing, of course, the pure variants, so it's really maximizing on these cards. I think it's really, really essential. Uh, I think Arvata's um, destruction effect is really, really overlooked. I think uh -huh. being able to pop this off of like a Runix and being special summon something like a Kieran from the graveyard where you don't have access to it is really, really crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's really, really good. Obviously, two Barong is like ridiculous. Just being able to do this multiple times in the same duel, it does come up so often. Again, Playing the Spear of Era, you do have the space for it, so mm -hmm, why not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I believe that's it for the Fire King monsters in the deck. Okay. Uh, for hand traps, you play three X. Hey, it's tiny. Three Valor. Whoa. <clears throat> and uh, three. Hey, I was really considering playing uh, 12 to potentially 15 hand traps, but that, I thought that was a little bit too much. I think with this, it's perfectly fine. Where the draw at, though? Huh? Where the droll at, though? Ah, uh, that's in the side deck. Side oh, okay, side okay. Side okay. Side. It, I was like, this is cool, but all. Oh, droll is so, such a busted card. It completely shits on this deck completely. Mm -hmm. um, but I think these are just really just mandatory right now in order to play. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and leave them in for, for right now. But we'll see. The post ban list, uh, with Manadium being in the realistically one of the best decks of the format, which mm -hmm. we did go up against today, um, I think it's probably going to go back into the main deck. But we'll yep. see. Oh, yeah. What else uh, we got? We played three Fenrir. I still have the mismatch ready. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. You uh, said pure chickens, it's man. Pure chickens, man. This ain't no chickens. This is pure because it gets you the fire. Shout out to you, by the way, for getting me the fire. I oh, appreciate that, you. Hey, that, that's cool. Shout out <laughs> me, too. But listen, whatever, man. Keep going, man. It's, it's, it's as pure as it gets. It's as pure as it gets. Okay. Look, okay. if you don't want to play this, you can easily go ahead and play uh, two Droll and two DD Crow if you potentially want. Because mm -hmm. there's still additional interruptions you could potentially have. So, okay. Like, nah, I'm just, I'm just busting you. You know what, man. You're good, man. Keep going. Keep going. In the event you don't want to, though, you can definitely right, 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 that route. That's going to be it for the monsters, guys. Now okay. for the spells. Hmm. You play two island, two Yo. sanctuary. Uh, I was playing this at three. Three is way too much. You just continue to just break on it. Yep. So two is perfect for it. So mm -hmm. that's all I got to say about that. Yep. Uh, one Skyburn, one of the most underrated card in Fire King. Uh, one, Bro, I thought that was a secret uh, for like half a one. second. I was like, how did yeah, you get that? this. That's busted. Yep. Uh, and one, one for one. Uh, okay. One for one is just, uh, just, just a free Ponix. Why would you not play it? You know? Okay, okay. Uh, and then uh, Circle of Fire King is just an absolutely just broken card overall. Helps you dodge things. It just mm -hmm. helps you do so opens up so many additional lines that you just would not have regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, additional Yo. one of called by and Yo. Harpies in the main. Okay. So Harpies is just a really, really good way to just get around. Uh, so you, the main thing with this deck is to get around all what your, whatever your opponent wants to do with hand traps mm -hmm. and Fenrir going on your turn and then you just blow them out with Harpies Fire Duster to have whatever they might have said just absolutely just uh, get rid of it and you're good to go from there. Not to mention uh, <coughs> Rescue Ace. <clears throat> Not to mention Rescue Ace, of Yo. course. So Rescue Ace is definitely going to be one of the best decks in the format. Uh, well, it already is. Yeah. And I think even more so, especially after the ban list with everything else taken down a notch is realistically. Uh, I believe it was Airlifter going down to one. It yeah. doesn't do anything for the deck. It doesn't do anything to hurt the deck. Really. And that, that's cool, man. But well, let's not talk about that ban list too true, much, true, man. True, 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 true. true. Uh, to round up the deck, three prosperity, two talents. Uh, okay. This is absolutely super broken. Okay. Uh, prosperity helped me dig into Ponix, of course, because you don't play the Diabellstar engine. The three hundred dollars is way too much for me to play to pay. Agreed. To play. Uh, pay to play is not the way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So prosperity was super clutch. As obviously rarity collection makes it really accessible as well. Yes, sir. And talents is extremely clutch. Also, just being able to either draw two if I brick. Or just being able to look at my opponent's hand is insanely, insanely good. <clears throat> For the extra deck, we play two of the uh, Hyung. Uh, Hyung. Hyung. 
<laughs> uh, XCs, I think this car is absolutely busted. Not really uh -huh. much else I can want to say about that. One thing, Gearsu. Whoa. Uh, the Gearsu is absolutely Yeah, you, you, you got you to have to explain that to me. <clears throat> so the Gearsu is absolutely busted because not only does it give your car's protection, uh, but on some you can actually just go ahead and send the car your opponent controls to the graveyard, which actually gets around a lot of destruction effects in the event you're going in the mirror match, mm -hmm. uh, in the event you're going up against Unchained, you don't want to destroy your monsters. Mm -hmm. Just sending stuff to the grave is extremely, extremely good. Uh, I did want to find space to uh, play like Sky Crisis and Seuss, but unfortunately we just didn't have that this round. Nice. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the links. Uh, Link Karibo, Anima, Salamangre, Almirage. Almirage makes any hand trap into a fire. In the event you need to normal summon like uh, DB Crow, you need to normal summon Drone Lockbird or whatever. Mm -hmm. Normal summon, make it into a fire, and you're good to go from there. Plus, it's additional effect to special summon when a normal summon monster is destroyed. Comes up a lot in this deck, so that's true. really clutch. True. Uh, true. People don't respect the Anima, so why not play it? And Link Karibo is just super clutch overall. Free. <clears throat> SP, IP, uh, Sunlight Wolf, mm -hmm. Hita for the yeah. Link 2s. I never went into these at all today. Um, hey, well I, then, uh, I, let me just... <coughs> no, no, no. Oh. Get out of here. That's, that's my thing. Um, but IP, SP, of course, really, really crazy. That, that Did you go into that at all today? Yes. I went yeah. to both of those today. Forget you, man. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, yeah. Heat Soul, Selene, yeah. Access yeah. Code, yeah. and yeah. Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess, I think, is oh. mandatory. Uh, especially if you're going up against uh, Manadium, which again is going to be one of the best decks in the format again. Oh yeah, in, that, in that, that band that list, happens. yeah. Um, yeah. Manadium is just going to be super busted. So just being able to get around whatever nonsense they have, whether it be Psychic and Punisher, whether it be Chaos Angel, just stuff that sucks to go up against. <laughs> so it's really, really nice to have this as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is going to be it for the extra deck. Let me see that uh, side deck, man. <laughs> for the side, uh, it's straight heat, dude. Uh, okay. 3 Crow. Respect. 3 Skullmeister. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 that's fire. What? Yeah. What? Skullmeister. Nani? Skullmeister is busted, dude. Explain. So this, uh, in the mirror match, anything activates in the grave, you just negate it. Mm. And if you're going up against um, Unchained, anything activates in the grave, you just negate it. Oh, okay, so that, <coughs> that's why you're not running um, the uh, Bana Abyss Duela. Abyss yeah, Duela. Yeah. Okay. Realistically, you can make it in this, especially if you're going to be playing the Rescue Ace package of three Impulse and one Airlifter, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. or Fire Attacker. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can play Abyss Dweller, but yeah, I think just this is really, really good overall. Just uh, It's not bad to draw as a six card regardless, because True. even going up against Fire King, they're going to be activating cards in the graveyard, so you mm -hmm. might as well be able to just you know stop them from doing that whatsoever. True. And then three draw on Lockford against Manadium. We did go up against, again, Manadium today, so it was nice to have. And also the mirror? <clears throat> and also the mirror, of course. Yeah. Uh, mirror, not nearly as much, but yeah. Okay, what is uh, these? So two of the Fantastical Dragon Phantasmate. I didn't make this once today, but it is, I still feel nice to have for right now. This I may take these two out for Nibiru's because I don't mm -hmm. think people respect Nibiru's at all. Yeah, no Thanos um, for you, no Thanos no for Thanos you. No Thanos for you. And uh, three evenly matched. Whoa. But I think the god card of this deck is a Whoa. second copy of the Fire, Sky, Fire King Skyburn. You are insane, I am, bro. I am very insane. much considering playing two in the side uh, because this going second is absolutely super busted. Even going first is crazy. Yes. You just set up your board uh, and then you Hyang blow up their board and whatever else they summon. Uh, Wait, say, say, say it again. What, 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 uh, what was that card? What? Hyang. 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 Summon Hyang. Blow up the board. Hyang. And then they summon whatever else for follow-up and then you just skyburn pop whatever they have pop your hyang hyang gets additional effect special summon back your uh, your stuff and you get to go from there nice and that's it for the profile any any words of wisdom for people wanting to pick up the deck bro uh i don't think that a bell star is necessary to go ahead and play this deck at a competitive level uh, mm -hmm. so for those of us who are uh feel the need to save up for the three hundred dollar uh, wanted package, it's not necessary. I think that the budget variants of this deck are just as powerful, if not potentially even stronger. So sure. I would highly recommend you guys try out the Tribe Gate, try Dark Matica, try the Pure, even the thirty dollar uh, <coughs> uh, structure deck. Thank you. Even the thirty dollar structure deck build is crazy enough, which I do have on the channel. So you guys go ahead and check it out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Hey, right on. Well, see you later, bro. Knuckle bumps. Later, bro.